the slowest camera ever. Okay. Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome today. Actually, I'm not sure what day it is. I'm going to do a book review. Let me fix this. Yeah, there we go. I can't edit because I need to pick up my brother from the train station. Okay, so anyways. Really fast. Yesterday I started reading The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I borrowed it for my friend Christy and I finished it in a day. It was so amazing. This book is 374 pages long and I read it in hmm, maybe four or five hours. It was absolutely incredible and I can't wait to get the second one, uh, Catching Fire, which I like think that I'm going to go to Barnes Noble tomorrow and buy it. I'll read you the back. Winning means fame and fortune, losing means certain death. The Hunger Games have begun. In the ruins of a place once known as North America lies the nation of Panam, or Panam, not sure, a shining capital surrounded by 12 outlying districts. The capital is harsh and, cr and cruel and keeps the districts in line by forcing them to all send one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18 to participate in the annual Hunger Games, a fight to the death on live TV. 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen regards it as a death sentence when she steps forward to take her sister's place in the games, but Katniss has been close to, de close to dead before, and survival for her is second nature. Without really meaning to, she becomes a contender, but if she is to win, she will have to start making choices that weigh survival against humanity and life against love. <clears throat> and actually, this is hilarious. I started reading the book, and then I... Because I like to read books um, without reading anything beforehand and not reading any of the critiques, I guess you could say. Uh, just so that I can formulate my own thoughts on it. But I started reading it and I was wondering uh, what the quotes in the back were. I didn't read that little blurb, <laughs> which is funny because I read it to you first. But I read these quotes underneath it and one of them... It says this, brilliant, brilliantly plotted and perfectly paced. John Green, the New York Times book review. So one of the vlog brothers, I was like, YouTube follows me in my life all the time. So, <clears throat> so uh, this, hold on a second. Yeah, I can get you from there. Um, I'll be with BC, so I'll call you when I'm a few minutes away, but just, like, hang out for a few minutes. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go pick up my brother. Has any of you read The Hunger Games? Uh, leave a comment below, or if you, um, I know that there's a few people who's working on their 50 books of the year. I highly, highly recommend this book for you to read. I think that everyone should read it. I think that it, it's just oh, amazing. And uh, just for me, while I was going through the book, and I can't talk too much about it because it's just too complex and involved for me to even, you know, start digging into it, especially considering that I have to go. But um, I couldn't help but be completely, like, I felt anxious. I felt, like, sad. I felt, like... Oh my gosh, and the ending was absolutely nuts. I didn't even know what to say about it, but it definitely cliffhangers for the next book. And I'm gonna go. I hope that you have a great night. Bye.